Hey, Karen Julia here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your show it website multilingual. So the benefits of making your show it website multilingual are that Google will understand what country that you're targeting and what language you're targeting, and it will help you rank um, in your chosen areas and in your chosen languages. And that's going to help you get in front of the right clients organically. So just to briefly explain um, how this solution came about. Towards the end of 2020, a talented photographer got in touch with me. Her website wasn't performing well, um, and she was an international photographer based in Europe and wanted to target multiple countries. But the situation with um, Show It is that there's a few uh, features of Show It which mean it's not really conducive uh, to doing that. Now, I have experience of working on international websites and optimizing sites for international SEO. And I've also got experience of working on um, doing SEO and show it websites, but I hadn't done them both things together. So I referred to uh, show its guides and on the international guide, I noticed that there were some real key bits of information missing. And also some of the um, core settings on show it mean that there can be some mixed messages when it comes to international targeting. So I wanted to put this video together to share the solution with the community because I know that there's lots of photographers out there that do target multiple countries that would love to have a show at website to showcase their work on. And the solution that I came up with um, is actually relatively simple. Um, I did build an entire test site to test this out before I went and optimized uh, the photographer's uh, international website. And the work done on that uh, has improved things. So this is why I'm sharing this with you today. So I'm going to put my head in the corner and we're just going to talk through some bits and pieces here. Now, in this tutorial, we're just going to be looking at the show it part of the website. So we'll have a separate tutorial to look at the blog section. So the first thing I want to show you is that in the coding of the site, the HTML is hard coded to be in English. So what that means is if you are based in Germany and perhaps you're targeting countries around Germany as well um, and you don't have clear enough language signals, then you're kind of competing against this hard coding of English. So that can kind of cause a, a bit of a, a conflict and some confusion because this English option is hard coded in here. So that's really not ideal. Um, I want to just kind of show you how I've set things up in the back end uh, within the show it site. And this is a website, by the way, that I built from scratch purely to solve this. Um, I've used a really cute template theme uh, that I love from Tonic. Um, I wanted to at least make it pretty whilst I was figuring all this out. Uh, but we can see here that when you click on Spanish, uh, it takes us to the internationally recognized ISO code for English, uh, Spanish language in the US. So before I go much further, actually, it is really important that any changes you make are in alignment with these internationally recognized language codes. I will put a link below this um, video, um, but here's some information here. And you can see here for English, for example, there's so many different kind of codes for English because it might be English in New Zealand or English in Jamaica uh, or Australia. And this is the problem with just having, uh, you know, EN hard coded in because it tells us it's English, but it doesn't tell us what country. And the, the country part is quite important, really. Um, so it is important that you do set up the site with these in mind. And the way that I have created the Spanish page, apologies for some of the size and being off here, the way that I've created the, the Spanish page is um, to use a copy of the home page and translate it into Spanish and then create the ISO code because the, the kind of international language plugins don't really work with the show it system, but we there are some workarounds and this is one of them. So if we just look at the back end of show it here, you'll see that the Spanish homepage is just called ES-US, which then kind of creates that, that variation. Um, now, this website only has one kind of static scrolling homepage, but when you have other alternative pages, say, for example, you have the contact page and you would maybe want 
the contact page um, in English and German, then the word contact, you would use the English for that, for the English page, and then you would use a German variation for the German version of the page because you wouldn't be able to use the kind of um, language and locale ISO codes on those other core pages. Um, however, from testing that, it has worked really well. Uh, so that would be the approach there where the pages need to be duplicated. Now, when you're creating duplicate pages, it's really important that you create links between those pages to kind of explain to Google what the equivalent page is. And the way that we do that is with real canonical href lang tags. Bit of a mouthful. Um, but if you just look at this little bit of code here, what this code essentially says to Google is, this page is targeting English in the US and there's an alternative page that's linked to this page. And that alternative page targets Spanish in the US. So that's what that little bit of code says. And every single page or post in your website needs that code. And by having those um, similar pages linked together, Google can get a really kind of clear understanding of kind of what pages are targeting, what language and what location. And that's going to increase the chances of the right person seeing the right page in the right country and the right language. So the href lang tags, which we'll just call them for short, are a really kind of crucial part in this. And there is space within Show It to add custom code. So those need to go in right at the top. They need to be above any schema that you can see that we've got here. So any other code that you've got there, the href lang needs to be at the top. And part of the, the reason for that, if we just go back to looking at the source code is, you've got this hard code in English, which is, is going to be wrong on quite a few of our international language pages. So we kind of want the alternative, the href lang tags to be quite near the top so that Google can get a kind of strong signal that um, this is a page that's targeting a specific area and it's got links to another page. And that's going to really help with Google just ignoring this um, first option here, which is going to have a knock on positive effect to our site being found by the right people. So that's how we would solve that in short. We're creating um, language pages that are going to be copies of our maybe pages that would maybe have in English. Um, if you're targeting an area, uh, for example, German in Switzerland, then there's slightly different ways of explaining things. Um, so it's important to use any kind of local descriptions of things that you can. And that is then going to be matched up with the href lang tags, which explain the language and locale, which kind of reinforces that information. Now, this will then fit in with uh, an international blog plugin, which you can use over on the WordPress part of the website. And I'll show you that in the next video. But I hope that's been useful. Um, feel free to reach out with any questions that you have about SEO. And I'd really like to hear how you got on with this. And also from anybody who um, implements this and then gets some positive results for getting found by the right people. Um, but I will see you in the next video.